Hello everyone, this is Dr. Govind Raigar and uh, I am very very happy to introduce you to Major Dr. Beer Sukhman Singh and uh, he has got an excellent rank of uh, 1312 in the recently concluded NEET exam and uh, it's our pleasure and an honor to talk to the Major Saab. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations sir. Thank you so much sir. Good evening sir. Sir, please uh, tell our viewers and the students about yourself. Uh, sir, I am uh, MBBS 2012 batch. As soon as I finished MBBS, sir, I joined the Indian Army uh, Armed Forces Medical Services. And I served uh, in various regions of the country as a short service commission officer. Uh, right after completion of my short service commission bond, I uh, started preparing for uh, NEET PG. It was my first attempt this time. And uh, I joined Cerebellum Mission, uh, you know, through a reference of my friends who had started preparing already. And through that journey of, you know, seven, eight months from last year, November till uh, August this year. And here I am today. <laughs> that's that's an excellent journey. Uh, so, Major Saab, I will like to talk more regarding your uh, journey as a major, as a doctor there in the army. And uh, yes. then we come back to the studies part also. Uh, yes, it, you have been there for five years, I think. Huh? Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. So tell tell us uh, all the viewers about the difficulties you faced and yes, uh, different um, areas where you worked. Like uh, we were talking, you were posted in Ladakh also. So yes, sir. How, how is the life there? Yes, sir. So uh, right after my internship, sir, I saw it the newspaper and there was a you know interview of army and it was being held in Mumbai. And I had this gut feeling, you know, somehow that I have to definitely go there and appear. And I had, you know, some family members and role models I've seen in my college professors who were ex-army officers. And I somehow liked their, you know, chivalry and gentlemanship. So I went for my interview in Mumbai, got selected. And thereafter, I was posted in command hospital Chandi Mandir. I had the exposure to an army's multi-speciality hospital. Then I went for my training, which is a military officer basic course in Lucknow, which is almost 90% of military training and very less of medical training. So that is a very, you know, adventurous journey and it is a beautiful experience for a doctor coming from a medical college into the military experience. And uh, thereafter, I got immediately posted to Eastern Ladakh and I got the opportunity to serve in the world's highest field hospital in Tangse, which is near the Pangong Lake. So during that journey, uh, a lot of conflicts were also happening with our adversities with China. So that experience of, you know, serving for the nation as a doctor, it was absolutely amazing, you know, in temperatures like minus 30, minus 40. So that was a totally different experience, but I loved every part of it. And yes. thereafter, I became a doctor with the cavalry, which is the armored uh, forces, the tank regiments. And I came to Patiala and I'd served with them for two years. And thereafter, I took uh, voluntary retirements. That's good. That's an excellent journey to know. Uh, and Major Sahib, tell us, uh, you said that uh, you had the military training. Uh, yes, sir. So that, that include everything, physical training also, like in the military? Absolutely, sir. So it, they train you in all aspects of warfare, sir. You are given basic training as to what the infantry is, what the armored core is, what the artillery is, how the uh, doctor has to serve in the warfare. So how casualties will come, how you have to tackle them and what medical units are there in the army. And thereafter, you are given arms and ammunition training also, simulation of uh, higher uh, level weapons also. And so that entire journey of a lot of physical stuff is beautiful. That's great. That's great. I am I am enjoying just listening. So <laughs> I can feel the experience you must be having at that time. Absolutely, sir. That's that's lovely to know about that. So coming back to our topic regarding our students. So yes, uh, my query is or my question is that uh, you were out of studies for nearly six years. Yes. And, uh, we know the medical sciences are so so volatile that if you do yes, not study for three months, it goes off. Absolutely, and sir. After six years, it will be a huge mammoth task to yes, read. And uh, yes, then it's just uh, amazing to get a rank uh, of 1,312. So that is that is uh, unbelievable. So yes, my question is uh, how you went through your studies and uh, you are a perfect guy to explain to the students who have not studied much in their MBBS and uh, now they want to get a good rank in the PG exam and PG yes, So yes, please tell the students what you did and how you secured uh, such a good rank. Yes, sir. 
so right after i finished my mbbs sir my father who is a doctor he told me that i must do some house job or work somewhere and not get into the rat race of you know md dm immediately okay. and somehow uh, after that i had this you know thing that i'll join the army and that clinical experience was definitely something that i was carrying on in the last 5 years i was totally disconnected with the theory that's true sir and uh, but the clinical exposure that you get as serving as a doctor somewhere is very vast in the army because you have to see all kinds of patients the army patients their wives their children their parents so you come across a varied uh, you know spectrum of diseases and you are almost independent so you have to be you know study also and take care that you can take care of those families so when i came out of the army sir this stigma was there and people around me also had the same thing that you said that you know it's been 5 6 years that you have not studied but somehow i had it in my mind that i will give only one attempt and it is going to be my last attempt Are so it. yeah so i had it in my mind that uh, nothing can stop me if i give one attempt but but this attempt has to be full fledged so that is when i started cerebellum in november in 2023 sir and the exam was supposed to be in march <laughs> and uh, i was going through the mission 1.5 videos along with my teachers and uh, suddenly the news came of uh, the exam being postponed <laughs> and uh, i was just you know very happy that i get one more chance to revise <laughs> and i never took it negatively i was like remembering my school times when school, any exam or test got cancelled we used to be always happy yes yes so even even this time i was like okay it's good so <laughs> then it got postponed for second time but <laughs> i did not lose track of cerebellum i you know focused and only and only on you know the schedule that was given by cerebellum and btr and uh, through that journey i was only thinking one thing that i am giving my best one time whatever the result is i'll be happy to take it and here i am today sir <laughs> that that's excellent so uh, major sir please uh, tell in one little more detail uh, how you, you utilize cerebellum and yes, uh, like uh, i basically consider me i am a student who is preparing yes, neat next year Like, yes sir i want to know that uh, how i have not prepared too much earlier uh, i have some basic knowledge but not too much yes, how sir. i want to secure a very good rank like yours in my yes, so i have taken cerebellum also so yes sir guide me how should i utilize that sir so uh, my early 15 20 days made me realize that it is very important to go through the main subject teacher videos uh, and then utilize btr as a bonus to uh, you know uh, to compile everything for you which was my understanding of cerebellum because i was somehow very very focused on concepts rather than you know just cramming so i realized very early that i have to go in this path so what i did was sir i went through all the mission videos along with the teachers immediately after the 1.5 cycles uh, finished the revision cycle started because of the exam post mod i went on with that gave on kept giving the tests and as and when i used to get any time if there is a holiday or is there a break and any subject test is coming or i have little time only but there's no 2 3 hours i used to watch a btr video so that subject btr video used to compile everything for me for 2 3 hours so uh, throughout this journey i think cerebellum uh, teaches live videos then supplemented with btr videos all the tests definitely you know consistency with the test and the schedule is very important because if you miss even one class or one test then the backlog keeps piling up and it never stops and when the postponement kept happening for me and i got little bit of time the subjects that i felt weak i used to watch their sub topic main videos also and a few subjects which i thought were i was little weak in like pathology physiology and gynae for me i was the 2.0 videos also like the last month of preparation so okay. i was like whatever i am weak with i must go on with that so this journey of cerebellum along with the end test series and uh, pyq marathons brought me where i am today sir great great so what uh, i if i can summarize what you want to say uh, number one most important is to make your concepts so yes, the student must go through the mission videos and where feel weak even after that they should uh, not shy away from si- seeing the main videos absolutely sir second thing is to be consistent do not miss yes, any of the lectures any of the yes, tests thing because if absolutely. you miss anything will be obviously overburdened absolutely so, sir and third is uh, continuously keep on giving tests and uh, keep a track that uh, you are progressing toward uh, good rank or uh, good marks yes sir and the one motivation thing that i can tell all the student which was my personal experience was that sir initially all of us will get bad marks even i was stuck at a very bad score in the beginning 
and i realized that giving tests and giving mcqs makes that topic totally different for me when i study it again so once you realize what kind of question can be made from the topic the next time that teacher is teaching you that same topic you know what to focus on Yes. So I kept continuing that journey, and suddenly, when you know the marathon happened in the Bay Sari Balam, and then the uh, mega INICT uh, uh, marathon was conducted by the NAB Bam, and then again the NEET PG marathon was conducted by Sari Balam. All these revisions give you a sudden boost in your rank, and I didn't even realize when it you know the score sh- shot up multiple times. So it was all because of multiple revisions and consistency that I think it made a difference. that's excellent and one more question i want to ask from on behalf of students like uh, whenever we talk to students particularly the top rankers yes. usually they are using multiple resources yes so, did you also utilize multiple resources so sir in my journey i consider myself lucky that i had no colleagues or peers who were giving me pg most of them had already cleared the exam and were you know done with md so i had no distraction okay. i got introduced to cerebellum and i knew i can do only one thing at a time Okay. so i followed the schedule of cerebellum very strictly and you know uh, purely i did not you know uh, take any other source and i think that gave me an upper edge because revising the same thing again and again is better than revising a lot of things and then never getting to revise it again definitely i totally agree with that uh, i too keep on uh, saying the students that uh, whatever source you are using believe that and uh, yes, try to revise the same thing four five times rather than doing five things once absolutely sir uh, so that is an excellent thing to know so now the it is guaranteed that if a person use cerebellum only they can get a rank in the topers absolutely sir there is no doubt the results speak for itself <laughs> that's that's great that's great and yes. uh, recently we conducted a ceremony for the felicitation ceremony for the toppers uh, uh, did you not come to know about that i came there sir Achha, i i got the number i remember i remember sorry sorry i did not remember that uh, i am talking to major sir at that time <laughs> <laughs> sir i i think you remember the name from the classes dr karuri ah. <laughs> yeah yes wo mere yaad hai yes yes great yes sir great. yes sir so bramjot kaur and you all were uh, constantly answering the questions that... yes sir so it is very important to be participant in the classes that is one thing i did i did not shy away from you know giving answers or chatting in the class because mistakes in the class will help you to make those questions right in the real exams yes definitely so it is very important to participate in the live classes and you know be there with the teacher yes that that that's excellent thing you have said i also yes, keep sir. on saying the students that uh, it doesn't matter if you give a wrong answer in the class or you yes, attempt wrong answers in the gts because scores in the gts or in the class will not matter what will matter is your actual score in the actual exam to yahan pe jitna galat hoga utna exam mein sahi hone ke chance zyada hain true sir any mistake that you do and then read the explanation in the app sir it gives you a permanent building of that concept for the next time you give a test sir yes. so it is very important to make mistakes in test sir yes yes that definitely i was just uh, yesterday talking to dr ravi Uh, yes, and uh, in the btr boot camp that was happening so yes, there also he beautifully explained that uh, why it's important to fail because yes. uh, it is important that we fail small yes. normally when we do not give any test in between directly we give for go for the main exam and if we fail yes. we will fail in the main exam but yes, if we keep giving small 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 gts tests so if we fail in them then there is less yes, chance we will fail in the actual exam that's absolutely true sir in fact when i was giving the main exam sir there were many questions that i felt that you know these are questions that i have made mistakes in the past yes. and you know you literally smile in front of the computer screen in the main exam that oh finally this question <laughs> is something that i will not do wrong today that's that's great yes sir great great so apart from the studies let's talk something else uh, yes, who is your favorite teacher in the sarvel academy <laughs> sir my particular favorite teacher was a teacher who made me fall in love with the subject during the classes that was dr amrit nasta okay i great. never thought that you know i will fall in love with chaudhary so much the way he used to you know make topics easy in the class it just felt like a you know casual netflix series that you're watching in front of the camera sir beautiful classes by him sir although all the teachers were you know very special to me because i was starting after 6 years on basically all subjects 
but uh, if you ask one then definitely it was <laughs> i totally agree because i was also found myself lucky to hear his lectures uh, i had just heard the lecture for one hour only but i was amazed that how simplified he has made the surgery matlab you can imagine you can just foresee that surgery is going in front of you sir everything is so easy because yes, i had 11 belly myself yes sir all i had read but uh, yes, even after reading that uh, it was not that amazing how he makes the concept simple absolutely it's such a huge subject sir and then he concises every topic from laban belly and makes it you know into a compiled concise topic for you so that's absolutely amazing sir <laughs> that's absolutely and yes, uh, do you remember any special incidents during the live classes special incidents were always sir because uh, in your classes also all the time when you used to make mnemonics and related to our real life and you know those mnemonics actually went out in the exam day and you know all those mnemonics make you laugh in the exam day also because they are so relatable to your daily life i still remember the you know drugs that uh, cause pulmonary fibrosis and you created a mnemonic of you know how the drugs will contain the name of either a car or a drone or a truck <laughs> so those things you can never forget in life sir so such classes change the subject for you forever sir definitely and i yes, also sir. remember one question where ca- cafe mein baal nahi hona chahiye that also came in the actual <laughs> <laughs> yes sir so <laughs> many of them sir actually yeah, i think the teachers at cerebellum know that which topic can be taken out from the main textbook and a question can be framed out of it Hmm. so they actually focus a lot on that topic in the live class and that is when the student also knows that okay i have to take it seriously and then in the actual exam questions actually do come from those topics sir so that so is actually it is uh, i feel it's the responsibility of a teacher only because uh, there are so many sources from where a student can study but yes, our sir. job is to filter that and uh, make it palatable that Absolutely. this much you need so we have to give that much portion which a student can eat because otherwise it will be will not be possible to cover each and everything absolutely sir because uh, in my journey in cerebellum sir i gave my first ins ct in november 2023 i got 18000 rank sir then in may 2024 i got 13000 sir in neat pg in august i have got 1300 so it is all because of the you know teachers teaching that same topic which is important again and again and me going through that journey of revisions of the same topic and the result is improving so it is a definite uh, thing that you know teachers have not started teaching new in the new next classes they have taught the same thing in a you know more elaborate way or revisions again and again of the same topic and the result is improving so it is definitely because of the important topics that the result improves sir, and multiple revisions of that topic great great so mr jasab it uh, seems like i keep on talking to you talking to you talking to you do not stop at all uh, but uh, thank you sir the pleasure is mine uh, congratulations again and uh, we'll meet again bye bye